Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel once again. I very recently did some videos on some brand new guitar pedals by Gamma. Gamma is a sub brand of Acoustic Control Corporation and they asked me to make some videos on their brand new high quality guitar pedal line. All these videos are sponsored by the way, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are 100% my own. The goal by Gamma was to make some high quality guitar pedals that are affordable, sturdy and reliable and also easy to use. I did dedicated videos on all three of these pedals and the first one that I did was the Atlas Boosted Overdrive pedal. I also did the Hades Metal Distortion and the Narcissus Warm Delay and I had a great time with all of these pedals. Do check out those dedicated demo and review videos on these pedals in the description below if you're interested. But yeah, I had a great time with these pedals and by the way, they do make more at least three more. They also have a chorus, a reverb, and another type of overdrive, I believe. So that's a quite nice line of pedals to start with. So in this video, I'm just gonna wrap things up, do a quick recap of all the pedals, and share my overall thoughts. So let's start with the first pedal that I demoed, the Atlas Boosted Overdrive. I had a lot of fun with this pedal. Let's take a quick listen to the isolated guitars of the demo of the dedicated video, and then after that, I'll share my thoughts. Alright, so the Atlas Boosted Overdrive is a cool little pedal. It looks cool and it's easy to use. And it is quite versatile despite the fact that it's simple because the gain range is quite large on this one. You can use it to boost your already driven amplifiers to make it more tight as we metal guitarists do. You can also use it to sort of add more drive to your crunchy amplifiers to make them sound high gain basically or you can just use it as a standalone overdrive into your clean channel. Because like I said, there's a lot of gain on tap on this pedal. This can add a nice amount of drive and saturation. So it can be used in a bunch of different situations and I also think it sounds good. There are so many overdrive pedals out there these days, but I think that this one sounds cool. It has a cool flavor going on and I like the fact that you can choose between the normal and boosted mode. It does make it a little bit more versatile, so that's cool. The Hades Metal Distortion, which was the second pedal that I did, is an interesting one. Initially, I didn't think that this was an amazing pedal and I still don't think that it's groundbreaking, to be honest. It's your basic metal distortion pedal that reminds me of distortion pedals from the 90s and stuff like that. It's good for sort of nasty and filthy metal tones, if you know what I mean. But once I accepted this pedal for what it is, I had a lot of fun with it. Let's check out some quick isolated guitars from the demo.
So as you can hear, it's more of an old school distortion sound, great for death metal and black metal and stuff like that, the really filthy stuff. But sometimes that's just what you need. So if that's the tone you're going for, this pedal could do the trick. But I have to be honest with you guys, it's not the best pedal of the bunch. It's not very versatile. So if you're going to get this pedal, watch my review first so you know what you're getting. And finally, we have the wonderful Narcissus Delay, my first ever standalone delay stomp box that I ever reviewed and demoed on the channel. This pedal is very simple, but it has a very nice sound with an analog flavor that can add a nice mood and atmosphere to your tracks. Let's take a quick listen to the isolated guitars of the dedicated demo. Cool, so this pedal has an analog flavor that's kind of reminiscent of the old Bucket Brigade delay units, and it definitely has its charm. It has a cool sound, and the delayed notes don't get in the way of the notes that you're playing, so that's really cool as well. And it can add a nice analog warmth to your tracks as well. And as I said, it can add a nice mood and atmosphere. If this is the type of delay that you're looking for, I definitely recommend checking this one out. I'm not a very heavy effects user, usually I use one effect at a time, but if you were to use these together, tie them up together in your guitar pedal chain, I guess the order that I would recommend uh, would be with the Atlas Boost first, then the Hades Metal Distortion, and then finally the Narcissus Delay. Seems like a quite fun effect chain for someone who needs various shades of distortion or overdrive, and then some ambience as well. My overall thoughts on these pedals is that they are fun to use, they are well made and they are also easy to use obviously, they don't have a lot of controls and a lot of options. Most of them sound really good but you may or may not like the Hades Metal Distortion because it does what it does and it's not very versatile. The other two can be used more broadly if you know what I mean, they can be used in multiple applications. Whereas the Hades Metal Distortion can only be used for one thing basically, in my opinion of course. It just really depends on your taste, as it always does of course. But yeah, especially the delay has a very cool and unique character that I really enjoyed. And the Atlas Boosted Overdrive is also a very fun pedal too, I also really enjoyed working with that pedal. The pedals are sturdy too. They look fine and they are also very well priced, somewhere in between $70 and $90, somewhere in that range, so that's very fair. So if you're looking for simple and to the point and easy to use pedals that are sturdy, high quality, low noise, I definitely recommend checking out these Gamma pedals and do check out the link in the description for more information. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below as that helps the channel out, I'd usually appreciate that. Also drop me a comment and let me know what you think of these pedals. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you very soon. Cheers!